What's going on, everybody? Yo. It's uh, Stephen Macker here. We're back from the dead. We're missing Spook today. Um, but we're going to dive straight in to the newest Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer. Uh, we're going to explore the... Alola region. Alola region. Do you know, I sort of, I don't know how to pronounce that. I sort of stutter every time, but it's Alola region. It's because you want to say Aloha. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aloha region. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to get like a real like Mediterranean feel going when I play this game, I think. Yeah. Let's dive straight into the trailer and let's... Mahala. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure that's Hawaii. Don't know where I got it from, but I'm pretty sure. So, powerful legendary Pokemon. Solgaleo. I think that's the right pronouncer. Sol Gear Leo, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So Psychic Steel. And the ability full metal body. It looks like a right monster. It does look like a monster. I am I've gotta admit, I am a bit annoyed that it's not a fire type because it's the sun. It should be fire. Yeah, I I think it should have been it should have been fire really, but I think obviously they're trying to balance yeah. the types between the two gods. Yeah, they? Like, yeah. What what could the moon Pokemon be really? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. It, isn't it. I think that's sometimes that what holds Pokemon back is this sort of constant balance between legendaries, isn't it? Or yeah. starters and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it looks like a cool Pokemon. Um, so what's Full Metal Body do? Full Metal Body, it's an ability. So say for example, a Pokemon's got Intimidate. It will actually lower Solgaleo's um, stats because of Full Metal Body. Right. Also, yeah. if they've got a move which lowers Solgaleo's stats, it won't work because of the ability. So, if you've got a move like Growl, it's not going to work on Solgaleo. Not why you, you'd use Growl on it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know. Just one of those. Well, if you did do, by mistake. It does look like it's going to be a physical type to me, in all honesty, but not sure. Yeah. I, well, it's... Main ability that we know, main move, sorry, is uh, Sun Steel Strike. That, that's the only move we've seen um, so far. It looks fucking awesome. It does look, it does look sick. I, I mean, do you reckon though, because it's called Strike? I think you think it's going to be physical. Yeah, I think it has to be like, yeah. Sun Steel Strike. Yeah, but it's not Sun Steel like um, Beam or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think you could be right about that. And it, it looks like physical Pokemon as well. You know, it's... look at its build and stuff. It's the lion Pokemon that we deserve. Yeah. yeah. Unlike Pyro, which Pyro. we didn't want, really. <laughs> Pyro's alright. It's alright, but that one looks 100% yeah. more like a lion <laughs> looks a lot than forget. Pyro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, poor Pyro, bless him. Everyone will forget about Pyro now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh, that was my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no gas. <laughs> uh, that's what he thinks of Pyro as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next of the legendaries is Lunala is it? Lunala I think that's a good one Lunala is that how you're saying it? Psychic Ghost do we think that's an alright typing what do we think? Psychic Ghost I don't really know in all honesty um, it could quite easily be in a flying type with it having wings wings yeah. but then they'd have had to give it like the ability like levitate which yeah. they probably didn't want to do in yeah. all fairness yeah yeah um, shadow shield we don't know what that's going to involve but psychic ghost I think that's pretty pretty solid yeah I sort of get the feeling that this is um, the defensive sort of special attacking Pokemon that's the idea yeah. I get with this you know it's ability shadow shield it looks very much like a shieldy sort of you know the the curve of its wings. It you looks think like in bulk. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, you it's know, definitely getting 252 in HP. Yeah, yeah. It, definitely. It just looks like it's going to take some hits and then it's going to be able to sort of hit off with a special attack if it needs to. Mm. Um, it's going to be one of. Them, I think it, if it's done like that, it could be one of the ones that get banned. Sort of. Yeah, like you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what you're thinking, yeah. It's, it's going to be hard to hit, and it's going to fucking hit hard as well. Yeah, definitely. It looks like a setup sort of Pokemon yeah. as well. Yeah. I think it looks really cool, though. Like, it's got a real dark aura to it. It looks like something you'd find on the moon or from outer space. Yeah, like, obviously with the sun and moon, it's 
I still think it's based on Mayan culture in all honesty. Like, yeah. it might not be, but Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Gods. It's got like a real like Dracula vibe to it. You know, you look at the care around the back of its head. It's yeah, a, like like sort of the cape. Yeah, 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 the cape idea. I do. I think it looks really cool. It's my favorite out of both of them. Um, so it's got the fangs as well. You're right. Yeah. 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 This attack is uh, Moongai, Moon Guys Beam. <laughs> Moon Guys. <laughs> Moon Guys. Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. Moon Guys Beam. Um, looks cool. Don't look as good, I don't think, as Sun Seal Strike. No, it does look like it's powering up, though. It does look, it does look pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. I mean, one shot's that Gengar. Yeah. Um, Down with Gengar. Lord no, Gengar. Yeah. Ah, it's alright. Meg Gengar's sick. Yeah, Gengar's alright. But yeah, um, yeah, I do think like that. That is really growing on me. Like when I saw Solgalia, I thought, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" Yeah. And I saw it, so I was like, "Yeah, oh, it's all right." But yeah, I do think it's growing on me. Yeah. Like, it's... The more I see it, I think the more you look into it, and you're like, "Oh yeah, it looks a bit like a vampire. Oh, it looks a bit, you know, it looks cool." I like the wings. I like the little stars at the bottom of the wings, and yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think it's a good. It's a Solid good, design. Yeah. Solid. I, I prefer the look of these to X and Y's. Like, already from the bat, I think, like, these look... Yeah, the more... There's more to them, if you yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Because, like, like, with X and Y's, they tried to shape them like an X and Y, which, you know, they did an alright job and they looked pretty cool, but I think because they've done away with, like, something like that, they've just gone... For a sun and moon sort of start, and it looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah, maybe they thought about the actual Pokemon itself before they based the concept of the yeah. game on it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I I think the designs. Just looking at sort of the start. We'll go into the stars in a different video, but just looking at the legendaries, like I'm really excited to see the new Pokemon that are in this game. Yeah. Because the designs of these look so good. Like we're going off topic a bit, but yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, so, this region map. Look, it's weird. It's not like anything we've seen before. It scares me a little bit that it reminds me slightly of um, Oras. Too much water. Hashtag too much water. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be a problem. In all honesty, yeah. it's not too far between each region. No, no. Um, obviously, there is a big between the far left and the far right. Do you think we'll see anything here? Oh, you can't see me pointing. I'm pointing to Maka, the sea. I'll, I'll draw yeah. a circle on this video. Do you think we're going to see anything there? Or is this going to be dead zone? There's never going to be dead zone. There's going to be something that happens. Do you reckon we're going to be. Are we going to go back underwater? Maybe that's a possibility. Cause is it going to be caverns underwater? I hope so. I really hope so, in yeah. all honesty. Because like, it adds to the experience, like, yeah. the whole of like exploration. That's what yeah. I like about the yeah. games. Um, and we I feel like. X and Y sort of missed that. Like there was the exploration of like the caves and stuff yeah. like that, but to go into water and find underground caverns yeah. and stuff that that just adds to the excitement. Yeah, yeah. So I really do hope so. I'd love to see. We wouldn't do it. I'd love to see like a town underwater with a gym. You know, like you go underwater in some caverns and there's like people living down there. There's like a route. It's quite possible. Um, black and white, they had the underground tunnel, didn't they? Yeah. Underwater tunnel. Yeah. Quite possible just to extend that into I'd a like city. I'd like to see something like that. And especially when you look at this map, you, I, I mean, it, obviously, it's not going to be to scale as in game and things like that. And you're a bit like, well, is there enough places for me to go fight eight gym leaders? And But yeah, it probably won't happen, but that'd be cool if it happened. Yeah. My main interest is the far left. Yeah. Obviously, the triangle pyramid sort of thing. I'm going to hazard a guess that this is where you're going to first meet the legendary, maybe capture it, but obviously Mayan culture, temple, looks like a temple, Yeah, I think that's where you're going to meet the legendaries. Do you think there's a temple that you go in? I mean that looks, that looks like the stairs going up there, and then that just looks like a plinth. That's what Mayan temples were sort of about, they always yeah. had it on the top, Yeah. and like when they were doing like sacrifice, I know it's a bit dark for like this video, <laughs> but it was always like from the top, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you always walked up the stairs and onto the top, yeah. so maybe, maybe not, I don't know, this is completely speculation. I've, I've guessed that a while it's going to be like based on Mayan culture, with it just being sun and moon. Yeah, yeah. And, um, 
Do you reckon I'm going to get loads of unknowns? Unknowns. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, hopefully not. It'd be nice to see him round that area, though. I'd like you know yeah, a couple there. Yeah, I think we will do. I'd, lo I'd love it if they did something with unknowns. They never will do, like, but... Yeah, because they, they picked them up in that movie, but yeah. that's a different topic. Yeah. yeah, again, again, we're sort of going off again. Um, I think that this white... It, look, it looks like a floating ship, but I think this could be, like, um, the Elite Four. This could be where you battle the Elite Four. I was thinking that myself, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just because it's so isolated. Yeah. It's kind of a challenge to get there. Yeah. So that's the whole point of the Elite Four, just to get it. Just actually get in there to get to the challenge. Yeah. So I think maybe you're right. I do actually. I would say that that is probably the elite four. Yeah, I, if not, I don't know where else it'd be. I don't. Because, the answer to that actually. I mean, what I like about this region, just from looking at this map, is like you can see where you're going to catch certain Pokemon. Do you know what I mean? You've got yeah. the, the snowy mountain. You're going to get your ice types up there. You've got the fire volcano yeah. in the second island to the right. Fire types there. You're going to get sort of sand rock types over here. Yeah, your ground types and stuff, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to go in here, cave or something, so again, more rock types. Yeah, definitely. Fighting types there. So, I think overall it's, it's really cool. You know, I'm excited. To it's well designed. It looks like... An actual place. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I mean? Yeah, it, it, it looks like islands, doesn't it? Yeah, like yeah. you could go on holiday to these places. They are really consciously thinking about that. I think since X and Y, and yeah. that was actually like quite a good region. Yeah, yeah. Because everything fit, and this just looks even more like yeah. everything's meant to be there. I hope like they get X and Y felt really li it was on about earlier, but X and Y felt really lived in, mm. and I hope that they do this again. I think like one of the problems, and this is going off topic again, but with Aorus, was that because it was such an old game, it felt like we'd gone back 10 years. It was like, at the time I was enjoying it, but thinking back on it, like I was really disappointed with it. Yeah. it was The nostalgia factor is what sold that game, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And then it wasn't a lived-in region, whereas no. X and Y felt... Yeah. Everyone felt real in that place. Yeah, everyone had a purpose, and yeah. I, I believe this is what they yeah. do with that as well. And it had a brilliant story as well. It wasn't just about getting eight badges, was it? No, it had loads of yeah. like so many like different stories, and yeah. then um, AZ as well. Like yeah. that yeah. was so like heartfelt and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it was really good. Ooh. Oh, hey, my dog didn't like Aris either. No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it looks looks cool. The region, happy with it. Um, that town looks really good. Yeah, um, definitely does. Like with the Pokemon Center, yeah, it's quite. Looks well, I imagine it's the Pokemon Center. Yeah. It looks like one. It's got to be the. It's got a red roof. It's got to be the Pokemon Center. Yeah, definitely. Um, are you happy with the fact that you can sort of customize your character a little bit more now? I hope that you get to do have customization. Like obviously, you can only choose between like you know the four, the four, which is fine. But I hope you get to customize the character as well, like. Hair colour, yeah, stuff like that, and then clothes and stuff again, as well. Yeah, because obviously that's a big thing now. Like yeah, X and Y. Like I thought they'd have brought that into Aorus, and they never did. No, yeah, that that would have added something extra yeah. to Aorus. Yeah, but I missed like when I first played X and Y. I used to go buy like different clothes every time I got to a clothes shop, and then I didn't really think that much to it. But then like. Playing Horus without it, you miss it. Miss it massively. Yeah. Because like, even just like battling with different people, you very rarely saw somebody who looked just like you. Never. Everyone was totally different. So I hope they bring more customization into. Does it look like we're a team Aqua though with the blue and white stripes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's obviously not, but. Yeah, I know what you mean there. This guy. This guy, is Professor Kuki. Kuki, Kukui, maybe? Kukui. It looks the most rad out of all the professors, really in all cool. honesty. Yeah. Like, because this region is based on Hawaii and the Kukui tree is from Hawaii, like, obviously he had to be a typical Hawaiian, so I imagine he's going to be the most, like, 
down to earth professor, yeah. if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. all the others are quite, yeah. like, oh, I'm knowledgeable because I'm a yeah, professor. Yeah. But I imagine he's going to be more. Rad and down with the kids. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I see. It looks, it looks like the college professor. It looks like he just is not really bothered. He just wants to party. Yeah, he's, he's there to learn about Pokemon, but he wants yeah. to learn about Pokemon in a realistic life sort of way yeah. instead of just studying them. Yeah. Maybe he's the more like field oriented professor. He wants to, he's more, wants to be more in the field instead of in the lab, maybe. Yeah. That's, just, that'd be a nice twist. So I've just noticed here, the other region is made up of several oh uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, my bad. I was like several. I thought I read it as seven islands. Yeah. But have you noticed that there's two bits of cloud yeah, conveniently so, covering yeah. certain places? So I wonder why they're there. Yeah. <laughs> I know what it's covering up. Um I bet he spends a lot of his time at the beach surfing with Pikachu. Seven with Pikachu. That's what I reckon. Quite possibly. Now then, Sir, his assistant, Lily. Lily. Now, what do you think about her? I think a bit mysterious. I think she comes across too cute in the video, but then she looks really stern on the other thing. Yeah. I think she's better than what she's. She looks really like novice there, but I think she's. I think she's stronger and better than what she's letting on to be. Yeah, and she's got this, like, in the picture, at the side of the video, she's got, like, this weird aura about her. Yeah. And if you look at, like, the other characters, none of them have this weird, like, glow. She's the most standout character, isn't she? Yeah. Out of all, out of the full trailer, yeah. she stands out the most. Like, I don't know, she's got this glow, like, she's possessed, or... She's going to be important. Yeah, she's going to be an important really character. Really important. Yeah. I wonder, sort of... I do wonder sort of what they're gonna do with her. I'm excited. To see about that. This guy. I just want him to be my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> how are we saying it's how? 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 I have no idea. I don't know. If it, let us know in the comments how you think you pronounce this. Um but he's our new friend. He looks cool. He looks really cool. Looks like someone you want to hang and go catch Pokemon with. That's quite weird. That gave me Chicken skin. Yeah. The mention in real life animals in a Pokemon game. I know. I just noticed that. I literally yeah. just clicked on. Yeah. They don't do that very often. I wonder yeah. if that's a mistake. Yeah, or if it's... Or an expression. There's like... Sometimes in these in Pokemon games, a cat do like a relatable thing. Mm. So it's got to be like... And there's, there's no like chicken style Pokemon, is there? No, not really. Not that I can think of. Do you reckon we're going to get one? I don't know. I imagine, like, if you think about it, it sounds a bit shit having a chicken style Pokemon, but think what you could do with it, like. It's Blaziken. Yeah. That's a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was thinking, like, a big, like, going into, evolves into, like, a massive turkey or something. A turkey, yeah. But, yeah, like, I don't know. I just, that's, that's really thrown yeah, me, like, just yeah. reading that. But I don't know. It just looks odd. It just looks like a nice guy. It looks, it looks cool, really yeah. super chill. I like his. I'd wear his shorts. Yeah. And the guy next to him, the grey guy, do you think they're in a relation? It's got to be his dad or his granddad. And what's that in his. In his pocket? I just noticed that, yeah. I don't know what that is. No, it looks like it's meant to stand out for a reason. Yeah. And then obviously we've got Lily and uh, Kukui in the background. Yeah. So this is like. This scene's obviously from like early in the game. I'd have thought, you know, you maybe just had your first battle with how you've got your first Pokemon in yeah. your first battle. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be quite a good call. It seems like really cool though. It's like he's a guy that when you meet him, he's probably going to be the comic relief. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be the funny guy. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, he's a good character. Now the Pokedex. There's a Rotom. Oh, nice to meet you all. Uh, nice to meet you, pal. Channel on the goods, goods okay. okay. So, I mean, there's a rotom in your Pokedex. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're going to do. I'm not um, so, it's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once rotom has gone into it. Now, how does it get in there? Well... 
Does it go? Does it power the Pokedex? As, is there a multiple supply on the island that you start off on with Rotoms? Yeah. That I've just ready to hand out to trainers. Do you have to find one on your way? Like, I think there's going to be a scene where you do find this Rotom and stuff. And yeah. Like, I don't think it's just going to be... Uh, well, it's in your Pokedex. It's yeah. going to be, there's going to be a scene for it where it, cause it says once it's complete, so you're not going to start with it. Yeah. So there's going to be a scene showing you. But what do we um, speculate is going to happen? I don't know what they're going to do with it. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I think, personally, it's um, a good way. Like, Rotom's a Pokemon. If it's in your Pokedex, your Pokedex is quite intelligent. It's got all the data. Yeah. Is the Pokedex actually going to speak to you in game? Is that it going to tell you facts about the Pokemon when you've caught it? Yeah, yeah. Like, that really would really, cool. like... Because, obviously, Rotom is a Pokemon. First and foremost, is a Pokemon. But if it's yeah. in your Pokedex, is, is it bridging the gap between trainers and Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's my speculation. If it did, I'd be ready. Do you know if the Pokedex actually spoke to you? Yeah, yeah. That'd, that'd be, be cool, yeah. yeah. I wonder if... Like, because I, I thought, like, oh, maybe you can put different types of Rotom into it and it'll do something different in the Pokedex. But, like, looking at this, that looks like an electric Rotom. So, like, I wonder if... I sort of hope it isn't, but maybe it's just because it needs an electricity source and... Rotom's gonna power it. Mm. Um, but well, only way for people in Pokemon to communicate. Woo! Like so, there is it is that communication yeah. thing. Maybe don't know how they're gonna do it. Maybe it does. Like you know what other games have done, where it's like you've got it on the news, where it's like oh, there's so many Pokemon in this area. Yeah. Maybe Rotom will be able to pick up on it. Yeah. Don't know. Probably not. And I wonder if it's, they're gonna sort of bring anything into the online play. And stuff, you know, reboost, change, you know, your friends list and stuff is through your Pokedex or something. Yeah, maybe. Something like that might be cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, it's available November eighteenth of this oh year. Oh my god! Not long. Not long. Can't wait. It, this is the game that we've been waiting for, really. Yeah. yeah. They took a year off. The back. I'm excited. I'm re I'm ready for Pokemon again in my life. I am massively need a new region. Yeah. Like uh, as much as like RS was good for nostalgia, it was just it didn't bring anything to the table really. No, no, it didn't. Whereas this looks like it's going to. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah. So thanks for watching. As you may have noticed, we're back. We're back. Uh, hey. Um, we should. We've got some ideas. We're going off topic slightly, but. If you stay to the end, we'll tell you. Um, we've got some ideas for sort of a we're back video. Um, that should be hopefully up in a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, you'll see more of us hanging about. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Bye.